Hello, and what I'd like to do today is uh, try to make a short video on uh, virtual microscope. As you can t see, I got to Google, started ty typing in virtual microscope. It's already come in. This is the one I'm going to try to use. And if you actually do click this, you'll open up and it'll look like this. Um, you can see we can actually do a letter E. We can do an onion root for a plant slide and we can do a bacterial capsule for a bacterial slide, a prokaryotic cell, and we can do an animal cell. When I started teaching biology I could actually have the kids do their own cheek smear, um, but lawyers have pretty much done the end of that. Okay, This is a dissecting scope, a binocular scope, and you can see we can adjust the Okay, we can't we can't adjust it to this this one this uh, particular view. We can switch views. This is looking at the outside of the scope to set it up, and then this is actually looking through um, the binocular part. But we'll take a look at it on time. So there is a checklist. You can see I'm already set up at four power. That's uh, the lowest power. It sees the most on the slide. Allows you to scan it. Go down here and turn the light on. Set the rheostat for ten. Um, then we can pick the slide you want. Um, the reason they pick an E is it actually shows that your image um, when you look through a microscope is backward or inverted and backward. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick a letter E. Next thing it says we have to center it. So I'm going to move it this way and that way because nothing worked. Um, on the outside of the scope things look move exactly the way they're supposed to but once we look inside it inverts the image. And then start the stage up at the top and then we get to check our or switch our views. Now you can see there's an image. Um, each of these scopes actually makes an image and what we want to do is we want to put them on top of each other. So I'm going to move it out and you can see you can change it quite a ways but I'm going to move it so that it actually looks like it's okay. Adjusting oculars, I got a green check. Course focus. Now remember I moved it all the way up so I'm going to move it down and did you see the E? There's only one aspect for showing you the E at that point. And then it says fine adjustment. I'm going to assume it goes down and you can see it got darker and then lighter. You do it until you actually see it or you can look over there and actually see the green arrow. And it looks like I didn't get it that way. Okay, there's my green arrow, pretty nice dark image. And what they really want you to do is go into this one, this, this small little red circle here. I'm not going to try to do that. It does say center. Um, now you can't tell this is up or down, so I'm just going to click it. Looks like I picked the right way. And it is now centered. So now I'm looking at it through 4x there and 10x here. We're looking at it through 40x. And if I actually move it over to 10, you can see I've made it a little larger. Looks like my checks are okay, except for I'm now off the 4x. Um, I actually asked my kids to draw it like this because it actually takes most of the screen. 400 times, you can see it actually gets even bigger. If you want to look at it a thousand times, it um, gets to a point where you can actually see the E and it's got these little bumps. It shows you the imperfect ability of uh, the type, even though you can't see it under 4. Uh, that's actually pixelation due to the monitor. But then they draw this. They draw it like this. And you can actually see it's upward and backward. If you try to want to move it over here towards the right, it moves to the left. Left moves to the right. Um, this one is up. This one is down. So it's actually moving backward. And this is backward from what you see. And this is the reason they pick an E. If we go back to the views and we go to an onion root, throws the E up there. Um, looks like it's pretty well centered but I'm going to move it oops, down a little bit and then I'm going to move it over here. Okay, It says move it back to 4. Move the stage all the way up. Then switch my views. Ocular still set. Course focus. Remember it's all the way up. I'm going to go down. There it was. And then find focus. Move it back up and did I miss it or did I have it? There's fine focus. Center the image and remember up is down and right is left. Okay, now I'm centered. Um, looks like a bunch of dots. 
So let's just see what happens when I go to 10. Looks like my check is good. Now you can start seeing some of the brick shaped for plant cells. Go to 400. Uh, now I have to adjust my iris, the diaphragm, because I'm getting too much light through it. So I dial it down to like there. Nice, beautiful images. You can see it's actually some of these are going through um, meta, or it's going going through mitosis, um, where you can start seeing the um, nucleus um, when it's actually going through interphase, doing what this onion root tip. It's supposed to be doing the nucleus is nice and dark when it's getting ready for mitosis so you start seeing some granation in it and remember onion roots they're down there they're growing very quickly so it's nice to see the mitosis because these cells are growing so fast but we're now trying to draw these and there's a thousand times and again we would want to adjust the iris and we would want to adjust the fine focus but then they draw it, um, they draw it at a thousand times, they can draw it at 400 times, they can draw it at 100 times, or 40 times their regular size. Okay, so that's the virtual microscope. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.